Um, and thank you for that uh, really helpful, illustrative presentation of the challenges of this area. Um, I also want to recognize the work that Jim Curtin has done with this community. Um, the idea of having an arterial roundabout was an idea that um, he broached with the community several years ago. And I think um, he gets a lot of the credit for the fact that SDOT um, has developed a conceptual plan and they use the uh, neighborhood street fund process in order to do so. And they've been actively seeking grants. Um, so not just relying on the community to, to write grants through the neighborhood street fund process and the neighborhood matching grant process, but SDOT itself has been seeking grants both from the federal government and the state government actively. Um, this project of an arterial roundabout, I think, can serve two really important purposes. Not only can it increase safety in that area, but it can um, it can also help with traffic flow through the area where we just walked through, um, which is, again, very, very challenging, particularly um, in the morning and at rush hour in the, in the evening. Um, so earlier this year, I requested that the mayor's office consider some funding to help get this project started through the first quarter supplemental. And um, rather than going through the first quarter supplemental, I received a commitment from Mayor Murray, and I thank him for this. And I've learned recently that um, that commitment is going to be fulfilled, and we're going to get $200,000 to begin the design work for the roundabout. for construction will is still be, to be determined, but um, we know that SDOT met with the Transit Improvement Board today um, on site to discuss the project, and they also provide uh, funding for projects like this one, and I hear that they were quite excited about it. So uh, I, I would love it if Jim could report out a little bit about that meeting and the, the prospects for um, that the participation uh, uh, of, of the TIB for funding. Thank you, Council Member Herbold. Yes, we have, uh, we had a meeting out here today with the uh, Transportation Improvement Board. They are a state uh, agency that uh, divvy out some of the gas tax uh, that you all pay every time you fill up. And uh, this will actually be, I think, the third or fourth time that we've gone for a grant here. And you know, one of the problems that we've had is that it is a big project. and. You know, some of the grants that we typically go for are, um, you know, not able to fund a two, you know, 1.5 to 2.5 million dollar project. Uh, so we're up against a lot of other really good quality projects, not just here in Seattle, but across the entire state of Washington. So it has been a little bit of a challenge. Nevertheless, we met with TIB today, and their head engineer was here at this intersection along with a contingent of SDOT folks, uh, and they were quite, uh, the term that we've been using is bullish on the project. Uh, they. Uh, were briefed on the collision history at this intersection. They actually got to uh, watch it operate or whatever you want to call <laughs> to not operate well. Uh, and essentially they gave us uh, some really good feedback on next steps so that we can take what we have now, which is a concept, and then move it to an actual design based on the existing conditions that we have out here today. Um, and I think never, uh, without a doubt, uh, this is going to be one of the top contenders for this project. And I think what, you know, we heard from Michelle earlier, 